Hey everybody, my name is Gina Loveless. I'm the author of these books right here, Diary of a Fifth Grade Outlaw series. We've also got Andrea Bell. Hello, I'm the illustrator from the Diary of a Fifth Grade Outlaw series. <laughs> and um, we are gonna answer a couple uh, questions, just like a little Q&A to help celebrate the third and final book in the Outlaw series. <laughs> Three. Yeah. <laughs> um, who is the Bucks Bandit? <gasps> okay. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. That's not the question that we will be answering. Today. <laughs> we will answer other questions. All right. So first question is. Yeah. Okay. I got one for you, Gina. Um, where did the character Wheelu come from? So Wheelu is based on the character Will Scarlet. Um, and that is because if you don't already know, um, the Diary of a Fifth Grade Outlaw series is based on Robin Hood and the Merry Adventures of Robin Hood, um, written many, many years ago, um, <laughs> and, um, loosely, um, based on that, on that, on those books. And so, um, when I was reading through those books and trying to figure out which, um, other stories I wanted to retell. I was reading about Will Scarlet, and Will was basically like kind of just minding his own business in the woods when Robin and um, Little John came up to him and basically were saying like he doesn't look like much of a man and like all this stuff that was like very macho and hundreds of years ago kind of speak. Um, and um, and in that case, you know, they ended up actually kind of getting into it. They kind of like, Robin wanted to get Will to do what he wanted. And Will was like, no, just kind of leave me be. I'm doing my own thing. And they end up fighting as a result. And Will actually like takes down Robin. And I did not want to tell that story because <laughs> at by book three, Robin has really learned a lot about herself and about uh you know just really like how to be a, a good kid and um after being so wrong about Nadia she wouldn't go all in on this person must be so terrible you know <laughs> immediately after and so I really wanted to like change that I wanted to keep that same idea new character new person somebody that they think is probably suspect and you know uh seems to be the person who might be the bucks bandit um but um robin needed to feel differently about that um to be able to um really evolve the evolve the story and um and evolve who she is as a person so yeah <laughs> i actually i didn't know any of that so <laughs> that's really that's really interesting to hear about. <laughs> How revealing who is the Bucks Bandit. You still learned something new today. <laughs> oh, I thought I knew it all. Frick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So this one, this one's actually pretty funny. Um, who is better at a free throw from the line? You or me? <laughs> oh, man. Well, um, uh, my guess is uh, that it would be you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because no. I am not, I mean, I've used to play basketball as a kid, but I am not very athletic now. Well, anymore. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to have to give it back to you because I, I've never played on a team team at all. I was okay. a band. And then my, like when I was younger and probably like first learning how to play basketball with my cousins, um, my grandpa was like setting up the basketball hoop and it was just, he lives in like the middle of the woods. So he was digging the hole himself to put it all, set it up. But so he set it up like six inches above like what it's supposed to be on a normal court. So the whole summer I was like demolishing my cousins, like shooting all these baskets and everything and it was really good and then I get back to school that like after that summer and I was just throwing the basket like way over and missing every time and I, I don't think I've recovered from that since <laughs> so I just basketball is not my sport but <laughs> well <definitely>, I, yeah <laughs> I'll try 
So all we have to do is get a, 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 a hoop that's going to be at least six inches higher than where the regulation is. And then you would demolish me. <laughs> that, like, I know that's really hard to pull off that or like, I got to get six inch like platform shoes. Yes. <laughs> and I think it'll be the same. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I got another one for you. Okay. Uh, what What do you imagine Robin will be like in middle school? Ooh. Okay. So I just, you know, get the sense <laughs> that middle school would maybe be rough <laughs> for Robin for a little while. Um, if she had her Mary band alongside her the whole time, then sure, no problem. But, um, you know, even still, Robin likes to do what, I mean, I think like as far as, I, I should say, as far as like school goes, like classes and studying and learning and everything, like, I don't think she would have a problem with that. I think she's, um, we don't really ever like look at that part of the classroom, but I always imagined Robin just being like, you know, a pretty average good student, um, you know, tries and, and all and all that. Um, but as far as the social pieces of, of um, middle school, that is usually when kids are starting to kind of like test um, boundaries a little bit more, I would say, like starting to figure out what their boundaries are, um, and, and understand like that their places within them and what other people think of them. And then sometimes going with that rather than their gut or, you know, that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. Robin kind of did a lot of that in elementary school. And so I think she'd be pretty set on like, you do the right thing and you be a good person. And not that that would be bad. That would be great. I think she would like excel with teacher's eyes and everything, but with other students with now, not just, you know, like, oh, half the school thinks she's goody good and the other half thinks she's whatever, which is kind of how it was at Nottingham uh, Elementary um, or Nottinghamshire. Anyway, come on, <laughs> continue. <laughs> um, but, uh, but I think in middle school, it would be a lot of like meeting at the lunchroom with her friends to be, to explain how the social stuff in the other parts of class would maybe be a little tougher for her. I think she'd be the one to call out a kid who she sees cheating, for example, or, you know, and then um, I think she'd be the one to, I don't know, stand up for, I mean, she's been the one that stand up for kids that's gotten picked on and um, mm -hmm. that definitely doesn't make you, that makes you kind of a stand out in a lot of ways, but yeah. <laughs> I will say, despite all of that, I also think none of it, like it wouldn't matter to Robin. Like if she has her core group of friends, that's what matters. And on the outside, it would look really rough, but Robin would be really happy because she would mm -hmm. be doing the right thing. And she knows that doing the right thing is what really matters. So I think even if like, you know, you were assessing it from a sociological perspective, you might say she's like having a little bit of a, a rough time here and there, but I think Robin would see it as like, well, I just did what was right and it didn't always work out. And then I tried the next thing. And I, and I think that's how she would see it and that it would go, it would go rough, but not, not to her, if that makes any sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, middle school is real rough on a lot of folks. <laughs> so yeah. I think, yeah, I think what you're saying about Robin makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So <laughs> I have a similar question back to you then about that. Um, and I know that Nadia is like your favorite character <laughs> in the series. I love so much. <laughs> <laughs> and I would love to hear the same, the same question. Like, what do you think Nadia mm -hmm. would be like in middle schools, but now that I've set it up to, with that, like, where's yeah. Nadia's place in all of this, so? I think I can see Nadia really thriving in middle school, and I only say thriving in the sense of, like, I think she, I could see her in, like, a, like, a hall monitor or, like, class president kind of role, because she's, you know, she had her, like, rough beginnings, you know, kind of learning what's right, 
Um, but she's really good at organizing people is what we've come to find out. <laughs> and I could definitely see her just like turning over a new leaf or like really harnessing that she is like, she feels good when she's in a role of power for more or less, but like, you know, like appointed power, but she, now she could use it for good, like either being like a spokesperson for a class or like helping the, yeah, I remember we, I think we had hallway monitors in middle school, but mm -hmm. just like having some responsibility, I think she would really thrive on. And she's pretty like, I feel like she's pretty social too. And with middle school, I am imagining like there'd be new kids coming into that one too. Cause it's like all the little elementaries get funneled in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I could see her like being a hall monitor and like making new friends and everything. And yeah, I feel, I feel okay for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She'll have this time. <laughs> I think you're completely right. I love like Nadia for <laughs> school president is like the next. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I want that so badly. as like a t-shirt. Um, <laughs> that, <Give> me <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hadn't, I hadn't even really thought about that. I, I maybe sadly th th thought about like that she might slip back into her old ways oh, uh, but so I, I love but. Yeah. <laughs> no but I love that I, I love that even more because mm -hmm. it shows that because that was like the whole story with Nadia was that she's more complicated than she seems right like not that we think that it's okay that she did the bad stuff that she did because it wasn't okay and she gets in trouble for it but mm -hmm. that it's like w the why and like the how she got there understanding like if all of Robin's friends are friends with her suddenly like okay maybe she yeah she's isn't. changed yeah exactly and um and she understands it and even when she starts to butt heads with Robin again in this last one um she still has an opportunity to just kind of find her footing really you know um in, in a way that like um she still had to learn she had to learn a different lesson and i think that she also like there i think the thing that i love the most about nadia is that she's really robin reverse <laughs> you know really strong like personality kids like they, but they like go about things in the complete opposite way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I totally agree. Cool. Well, thanks, Andrea, for taking time to chat with me about our favorite book series that we've ever read yeah. together. Yeah. And, <laughs> and only one. Questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And thanks, everybody, for <laughs> tuning in. And um, if you'd like to check out some really cool, um, downloadable activities to go along with our series right here. Um, check out ampkids.com. That's A as in Apple, M as in Martin, P as in Paul, kids.com, um, where you can find a bunch of really cool activities that go along with the books. Um, and that's about it. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.